Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about playing games using a keyboard and mouse on almost all the consoles that are available on the market. Not only that, specifically the Switch as I'm going to demo that for you guys. Uh, this is a keyboard and mouse combo, a mechanical one-handed keyboard specifically from GameSir called the GameSir VX. We're going to check it out on the PC and we're also going to play some Fortnite using our Switch. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we push out new videos on the channel. So here we have it, GameSir is the company that makes this. Now typically GameSir makes normal controllers, uh, but when I was first reached out about this, I was very actually intrigued because of the fact I like one-handed keyboards, but not only that, mechanical keyboards, and the fact that it works with the Xbox One, the PS4, the PlayStation 3, the Switch, as well as the PC. The Switch and the PC are really my interesting part. The Switch, I didn't even know that we could even use a keyboard on it. So we'll definitely demo it there, as well as I want to show you guys the PC mode, which enables us to use it as a standard gaming experience. So it really is very nice. We have five console uh, platforms, as we just talked about. We have wireless connection. We're using the VX dongle that comes included in the box. Uh, we have preset combos, of course. We have mechanical keyboard, which is what we have here. Uh, we have obviously configurable uh, keys, which is what we normally expect, and of course the ergonomic design of having it as one piece, and of course they also include the GameSir gaming mouse. The model number is the GameSir VX. Last thing before we get into the box, uh, the dongle itself does work wired and wireless. The mouse itself has actually, it's a wired mouse that we do connect to the main unit. Uh, this little hand rest right there is movable and repositionable, so you can actually position it in the right position. Um, other than that, we also have some G game uh, options here for gaming keys, uh, basically specifically designed for FPS games, so for first person shooter games. Let's go ahead and open it up. And there we have it. Uh, we do have a, an instruction manual explaining to us how to connect it to the different consoles, so you just have to flip over. Uh, there's a little cheat sheet right there as well. So you can go through the instruction manual and you can see right there, this one connecting to the PS4, PS3, this one's connecting to the Xbox One, and then this one option explaining to us how to connect it to the Switch. So they include everything you need to be able to get it connected. And of course, if you want to use it on your PC, there's two different modes. You can either wire it connection directly using the actual dongle or the included micro USB to USB type A cable um, directly to your PC and then connect the mouse over to the actual keyboard. Here is the actual keyboard itself. The piece at the bottom here is actually a sliding key here. So you can definitely make it very compact when you're traveling, just slide it off, put it down. And then it actually takes a lot less space than having it just sit there the whole time in a position where it just never moves. Uh, so once assembled, the piece itself is very simple. You have uh, your normal indicators here. We have a couple of options here. A micro USB connection, that's where you wanna use it when it's wired directly to your PC. Um, and the USB type A connection, which you notice right there, there's a little logo for a mouse. There is an on and off switch as this does have a battery. So when you're using it on your switch, you're connected wirelessly. So you don't have to worry about actually having a wire connected there. The only thing you connect is the mouse. And those are, of course, the first person game uh, configurable buttons, as well as the app uh, that we also have to check out on the phone that enables us to customize some of these keys on the fly. We have three different LED lights right there. We have the battery power, the controller when we connect it to a gaming console, as well as the app or Bluetooth functionality. Now, when you're connecting it to gaming console, you first need to be in this dongle, which enables us to be here in the green mode. And then you do F5, which enables us to turn on the gaming controller. This will only work when the dongle is connected directly to your gaming controller or to your actual switch. And of course you turn this mode on. But otherwise, if you're using it directly to connect it to the app, you have to switch over here and you'll notice right there that the button turns blue as this will connect over Bluetooth to our phone. Lastly, the dongle itself is pretty simple, USB type A, and it has an input to USB type A, and this is connected essentially when you're using it on the PC. Uh, there is an indicator light that turns green whenever it's on and blinks whenever it's not. And when you have a solid connection to the actual keyboard, it keeps a solid green connection. The mouse is a GameServe branded mouse. We have a GameServe logo, uh, some lights, a couple of buttons here. We have the DPI settings here, as well as a scrollable mouse and clickable, right and left click and it is a laser optical mouse. Um, overall, pretty standard as far as what you'd expect. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use this if you have your favorite gaming mouse that you'd like to keep using, you can plug yours in. This is nice that it's in the box, but again, if you have your own preference, you can definitely go with that. So basically, before we go to the PC, this is pretty much the standard configuration if you're using the entire combo. You connect the mouse, You'll notice that the lights will turn on once it's connected and you can extend and make the cable as long as you'd like and of course get it in the right mode whenever you're playing it directly on a gaming console you switch over to the dongle mode which essentially is this and then of course once you're connected you just do function 5 and it turns on the gaming mode option and it'll connect and it'll create that connection there and i'll show you a quick demo right now this is how i'm connecting it to the switch 
I had to connect it first, go into the controller setting and then do the switch uh, change controller option. And then from that screen, I go in here and I turn on function five. And once I do that, I just have to press the E and the R on the keyboard to be able to initiate the right and left trigger so that the switch can recognize this as a controller. At that point, we're ready to use it as a, gen a standard controller with mouse and keyboard on our Nintendo Switch. As I mentioned to you guys, this is a mechanical keyboard. so. So you get all the normal uh, clicky options. Now this is an entirely one-handed keyboard on the left. It does not get reconfigured to the right. So unfortunately, this is pretty much intended for the left hand. Uh, now you can switch it over, but you just have to keep in mind that the G and the numbers here are sitting on this position. Um, it does not have a soft touch material here. This is very much hard plastic, but we do have a non-slip material grip here so that it doesn't go all over the place. So once it's in there, you notice right there, the whole table moves with it. Uh, the mouse lighting is very nice. It does turn on right there with the gamer, Gamester. And again, you can use the controller. Let's go ahead and switch over to the app. We'll go function app. Now in the book, they do provide us a QR code to download the actual controller application. It's called the Gamester G Cruise. And you can also download it directly from their website and which is linked right there, uh, right, up, right under the actual QR code. And the really cool thing about this is it actually is compatible with more than just the uh, Gamester VX, but this is definitely where it's gonna work. So all you need to do first, you do on the keyboard here, function app. So we'll go ahead and click it on the actual keyboard and it does give us that same instruction to be able to click those buttons we'll click okay um, you are able to update the firmware with this you can upgrade on the pc when you want to be able to upgrade this because this does need to be connected and powered uh, so of course you can do that and then check the tutorials but the main benefit of course this was under the firmware update is when you go under keys now let's go ahead and connect it one more time obtaining default settings and that's the existing settings that we have here you can go in there and customize it between the main consoles ps4 xbox one switch ps3 official configuration based on the game so let's say you want to play PUBG on your pc or on the xbox one you can go ahead and click it and then it has a preset uh, basically uh, keys that you can actually use and you can actually save it and assign it directly into the actual keys so you have maps that are easy to set up easy to use and of course all of this is done via bluetooth once you're done you click controller and at that point you're using the actual adapter uh, the main benefit of course of the adapter is that you can use this on your pc as well as on the gaming consoles so if you just want to be able to play with this on a pc that's a little bit further away from you connect this directly into the pc no configuration is really needed just go on hit f controller and it'll turn on and then as you can see right now i'm playing uh, games on my pc right there it just works super easy very simple and again i could be you know 10 feet away i could be two feet away or i'm sitting on my desk and there is no latency that's the main benefit here using it with a pc is very very fast and if you use the micro usb cable there's really no even issue as far as battery because when you're wirelessly connected you are using the built-in battery which is really nice so i'd recommend you using the wired cable on the pc and wireless whenever you're using it on any other gaming console so i've been using the gamester vx for the last couple of weeks and playing games with a keyboard and mouse is definitely a very different experience it took me about a day or so to just get used to having the fact that the buttons on the keyboard are mappable and you can actually customize them as i said go into the app customize the buttons that you'd like you can download presets if you'd like or you can also take those presets and change them before you load them on the keyboard without ever needing to touch a pc uh, the instruction for each di uh, basically console is very simple, but you do need to follow the instructions in the booklet. The switch was very simple. You just have to basically turn it on and make sure you go do that function five um, after you go to the function F5 so that the controller functionality turns on and then just press the right and left buttons on the keyboard and you're pretty much set. Um, of course, using it on the PC, there is no brainer there. It works very well. Um, as far as latency and uh, functionality, I think overall it worked really good for me. Uh, battery life is not super long, so if you're trying to do hours of uh, like a really long session on the Switch, I would recommend you putting a power bank and connecting a power, uh, power source to it, and it will work. You don't necessarily have to have it connected to the PC. Uh, but of course, if you're using it on the PC, I'd recommend you going wired. If you want to go wireless, you're more than welcome. There really is almost no latency issues there, and the connection is very strong. So. I want to say thank you very much to GameServe for allowing me to check out the GameServe VX. I've checked out a lot of their controllers in the past, uh, but this is by far the most flexible one that works with all gaming consoles as well as the PC and just gives us that mechanical keyboard feel and just overall experience there. So thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe and share this with all your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video.